Hello everybody, my name is Rolof and today I want to show you Black Salt Audio's new plugin called Escalator. Uh, it's a great little plugin uh, that is super easy to use because it's only one knob, right? And there's the output control over here and that's really all there is to this little plugin. But I found there's many, many great uses in which this plugin can come in handy. So I wanted to showcase a couple of ways that you can use Escalator to really enhance the mix uh, that you might be already working on or that you're gonna start soon so let me play the mix uh, um, for you a bit and then we'll dive into some different ways where you can use escalator to really enhance things and get things to the next level so So I wanted to start by showing you how you can use Escalator to really bring those guitars to life. It's just main left and right rhythm guitars with, uh, it's just a straight DI with an Amsim plugin on it. In this case I'm using 14 Nameless and this is what the guitars sound in solo. Definitely a good tone right from the bat to start with. Now let's throw on Escalator and let's see how we can really like make this more full and really bring it to the next level with this little saturation plugin. So let's check it out. I'll just crank it for you so that you can hear really what it's doing. There's where it gets really fizzy, but as you can see, you can really, really drive this plugin quite a lot before it starts getting annoying and fizzy and ugly. See how you just really get more of the sound when you just unbypass the plugin. And another interesting feature that I found with this plugin is these little open notes here. Now I've got Escalator on, but watch what, I, what happens when I bypass the plugin. Now uh, just listen for the upper mids really and see how harsh they get uh, without Escalator. So. It's kind of harsh in the upper mids, and now I'll throw Escalator on. You hear the difference there? It's definitely a bit subtle, but it's definitely cleaning up the upper mids when I throw on the saturation plugin. It's 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 absolutely mind blowing how it's doing that, and it's also there's more information going on or something. And now with. It's really bringing more energy to these guitars and it's filling out the, the frequency spectrum a bit more. Because there's kind of like a, a simple arrangement here. It's just drums, one bass and then main left and right guitar. So it's kind of an empty arrangement over here. But uh, with something like Escalator, you can really just fill out the frequency spectrum and make it more fat and more, more energetic. So that's just one way of using Escalator. There's many more. So, so let's move over to bass now because uh, Escalator is really, really useful on bass. Uh, it's not really affecting the upper mids in this case, but on bass it really focuses on the lower mid. So let's just, uh, I've muted the guitars and let's just take a listen to the drum and bass mix. And bass in solo sounds like this. I'm really happy with this bass tone already. As you can see, I went kind of crazy with this bass chain, uh, but sometimes it's just what's necessary to get the bass tone that you're after, right? So in this case, I ended up with a lot of plugins and I'm happy with this tone, but let's just find out how Escalator can bring this bass tone even to a new level. So let's just play the bass and then I'll just slowly bring up Escalator so you can really hear what it's doing and focus on the low mids. That's where most of the added energy is gonna end up in bass guitar. Let me just crank it so again that you can hear what it's doing. See right there that it's like the, the low end gets all wobbly and it sounds very very oversaturated. And uh, that's, that's not very nice so let's back it down. And I'm readjusting the output a little bit so that we can properly AB the before and after. So check it out. Yeah. 
here how it's really filling out the low mids in this tone and again if you listen to that in the full mix that's pretty pretty drastic uh, difference there so check it out without escalator and now with like so much more happening now on these lower mids let's just listen to bass and guitars in solo and then bypass both es uh, escalators and then uh, let's listen what they're doing and now let's bypass both escalators it's like ha half the song is gone or something it's so weird There's a ton of more, more, more happening. There's more information and more energy, and uh, it's uh, really amazing what um, Escalator is doing on these two sources. So that's some cool uses for Escalator. Now let's move on to some vocals because you'll notice that the Escalator plugin is very, very useful in vocals. You you sing so Let me unmute the guitar real quick so that we have a full song. You these have escalator on it already let's listen to the vocals in solo without escalator you disbelieve you sing so decently you feel like reactions are vehemently okay and now let's put on escalator you disbelieve you sing so decently you now without you sing so decently you and with you sing so decently you it's so full right it's like from the moment you put on escalator i think i cranked it a bit yeah i cranked it uh, and you can definitely get away with even more on vocals especially on these like not really full scream vocals but like these i don't know like throaty i don't know what what to call these like energetic vocals let's call it that you sing so decently you without you sing so decently you it's like half of the half of his voice is kind of like gone or something it's really weird but it's making the vocal sound so full and thick without without it being harsh or oversaturated if that makes sense i tend to don't use a lot of saturation on vocals anymore because i find it especially on the full screams you know i find it to oversaturate very very easily and uh, i don't like the sound of that really but in this case you can really crank it let's just crank it up even higher you seem so decently you See, it's all the way up there and only then does that oversaturated sound starts to come in a little bit you seem so decently you feel like reactions are vehemently uh, make it mine uh, yeah. it's sounding so empty without it you just kind of like a sound that you're working with but you kind of want more from it then escalator will absolutely get you to that um that more fullness and more more energetic uh sound if you will let's check it out with both vocals that's absolutely a big difference you seem so decently you seem so decently you seem so decently it's kind of decent and now with you seem so decently it's so full it's awesome and if you kind of uh, like use escalator on like multiple instances in a song then you notice that all of these tiny differences because let's face it they're pretty pretty subtle differences right but if you um, bypass all of the escalator instances that you're using in a song then you'll notice that like half your song is basically gone because the information that it's adding to the sound is just so so much so these are just some of the the useful ways that you can use escalator i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time